I am sick and tired of hearing people tell me that I'm not allowed to spend money on lattes. Here's how that advice goes. Uh, guys, if you stop spending $3 a day after 38,000 years, you'll have $100,000 in your retirement account. And by the way, you're going to be miserable every single day of your life. And then one day when you're 2,000 years old, you can feel great. Who wants to live like that? I actually want to make the case against extreme frugality. Everybody, everywhere you turn, you hear people telling you what you can't do with your money. No lattes, no jeans, no vacations. Save it up in a little treasure box and then one day when you can't even see anymore, then you'll be able to take the greatest vacations of your life. Who wants to live like that? I would rather you set your automatic savings goals, you set your automatic investing goals, and then you take the rest of your money, your guilt-free money, and you spend it extravagantly on the things you love. One way, it's very simple when you go to the grocery store, maybe you buy a bunch of pre-cut vegetables. Now, when I was growing up, my mom thought this was a huge waste of money. I now think it's a great use of money because it buys back my time. Another thing you can do, a lot of people live in New York, hire a dog walker. You have a dog, you may not have time to walk that dog in the middle of the day, boom, dog walker, done. And then as you become even more successful or more strapped for time, there are even more ways that you may want to spend your money. You may want to hire an assistant to help plan your travel. You may want to spend for a business class flight because when you arrive, you're getting straight to work. These are all different ways that you can be thinking of buying back your time. As a general rule of thumb, I want you to be saving five to 10% of your take home income. And I want you to be investing 10% of your take home income. If you do that, you're on a good track. And that means that the rest of your money after your fixed expenses, like your rent or your mortgage, is guilt free money. This is a new way of looking at money. While everybody else is worrying about how little they can spend and how much they can cut back on, you know you've automated your savings, you've automated your investing, and you know that time becomes more and more important as you go on through life. So use your money strategically. Use it to buy back your time and use it to do the things you love and ignore everyone else telling you to cut back on lattes.